Argentina vive un terremoto político y la respuesta de los mercados ha sido clara. Los precios se han disparado un 30% en los dos días siguientes a la victoria del populista antisistema Javier Milei en las primarias del pasado domingo. Temen que si es elegido lleve a cabo sus propuestas en contra del papel histórico del Estado. The question is whether he or anyone can really uh, correct the economy in, in Argentina is, is it's going to be tough. There are a few bright spots which I'll talk about, but these are structural issues. For example, public spending represents 40% of the country's GDP. Um, that means that you know, if we're going to address the debt problem, the issue of, of inflation and the tendency of the central bank to print currency, uh, it's going to have to cut dramatically subsidies. En un país que lucha contra una inflación anual superior al 100%, una pobreza creciente y una moneda que se deprecia rápidamente, el voto ha respondido al hartazgo contra la clase política. Pero, ¿representa realmente un cambio ideológico en Argentina? I don't think so much that Malay's surprise uh, victory in the primaries um, really represents a wholesale shift uh, within the Argentine electorate towards the right and towards this sort of view of libertarian, you know, almost calls himself an anarcho-libertarian, uh, of sort of a, a much reduced state, um, reflects uh, po core popular values in Argentina. I think Argentina remains very much a center-left country in its orientation. La corrupción y la falta de renovación de la clase política ha tenido consecuencias en toda la región. Las hemos visto en Estados Unidos, Brasil y buena parte de América Latina. Ante su sensación de inseguridad, la población busca alternativas extremas. There is a sense that there's been no political renovation, that politicians are unaccountable, but also the sense of profound economic insecurity that's driving this. In the surveys done in Latin America by Vanderbilt University, more than 80% of respondents believe that half or more of their politicians were corrupt. When people don't trust their politicians, when they don't trust their institutions, they look for extreme answers outside the system.